Hey guys and welcome to live Russian battles. Today we will talk about two confusing Russian conjunctions A and NO. This video was requested by one of my subscribers, Juan Hey. <laughs> so let's get started. Well, both of these conjunctions can be talking about contrast, but Keep in mind that NO is talking about strong contrast. It is always translated as BUT. And uh, sometimes it's talking about contrast with our expectations. It's like your hint. And A, on the contrary, talking about not strong contrast, like slighter contrast, uh, and it can be translated as BUT or BUT rather. Also, it can be translated as while or whereas, because it has nothing to do with contrast in some sentences, it just helps us to add some information to our sentence. So, let's look at some examples to compare these two conjunctions and I hope it will get clearer for you guys. So, the first example is Пишите ручкой, а не карандашом. Write with a pen rather than with a pencil. Yeah, with these both things we can write. There is no huge contrast. Yeah, but my preference is that you are that you write with pen rather than pencil. With a pencil. Compare with пишите быстро, но понятно. Write quickly, but understandable. You see here we can see this contrast with the expectations because normally when you write quickly your handwriting is a mess and you don't expect it to be understandable that's why we use no write quickly but understandable huge contrast we continue машина не красная а бордовая this car is not red it's rather uh, Bordeaux color. I'm not sure in English about this. Bordeaux цвет. So here we are talking about two characteristics of one car and they are the same. It's both colors. There is not much contrast. You see, compare with машина не дорогая, но качественная. The car is not expensive, but it's of a good quality. We can put however here. The car is not expensive and we expect it to be not a good quality, yeah? However, it's of a good quality. Okay. Masha поет, а Pasha слушает. In this case, we just give some additional information. Masha is singing while Pasha is listening or Masha is singing and Pasha is listening, yeah? Sometimes a is translated as and when we add some information. Compare with Masha слушает, но не запоминает. Masha is listening, but she is not memorizing. Again, contrast with the expectations. When Masha is listening, we expect her to memorize something, but she is not. However, she is not memorizing. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Я сейчас в школе, а не дома. Now I'm at school and not at home. Again, the same things, to be at school, to be at home, yeah, it's not huge contrast, it's like, it's not like but rather, it's still but, but, but the contrast, there is no contrast with the expectations and we can't put however here, yeah, compare with Я сейчас не дома, но скоро вернусь. I'm not at home now, however, I'm coming soon, you see? Here it's we can put this however to check ourselves. And we continue. На улице идет дождь, а не снег. Again, two similar things, rain and snow. It's raining outside rather than snowing. I'm looking out of the window and I'm realizing then that, that, that it's not snow, it's rain. Uh, it's raining outside and not snowing. Compare with На улице солнечно, но холодно. It's sunny outside, but it's cold. Contrast with the expectations. When it's sunny, normally it's warm. Yeah? 
here we can put however. It's sunny outside and however it's cold. Continue. Masha, Ruskaya, a nie Amerikanka. Again, two similar things, nationalities. Masha is Russian and not American. Compare with Masha Ruskaya, no живет в Америке. Masha is Russian, however, she lives in America. You see, expectations, she is Russian, so she should live in Russia, like uh, logically. But however, she lives in America. And in the last example, I wanted to show you that in questions like, what about you? And uh, yeah, and what about you? We use a conjunction A. Я люблю зефир. А ты? I like this Russian sweet зефир. And what about you? Or for example, меня зовут Катя. А тебя? My name is Katya. What about you? And what's your name? Yeah. And in questions like, uh, but how? We would use conjunction no. Я хочу помочь тебе. Но как? I want to help you. But how? We would use no. And also in the construction like не только но. Not only <laughs> but also <laughs> we, do, we would always use the conjunction но. For example, я люблю не только петь, но и танцевать. I like not only dancing but also no, I like not only singing but also dancing. So, I hope that these examples helped you to understand the difference in between these two conjunctions and I wanted to tell you in the end that sometimes we can use them both. I mean, it's not like they're interchangeable, it's just, uh, it depends on the emotional color of the sentence. Sometimes A goes uh, more to the sentence, sometimes NO goes more. But in these kind of sentences, uh, I took them on purpose to show you the difference, yeah, like uh, rather while uh, different with however contrast with the expectations. So I hope it was helpful and uh, we'll see each other in live Russian battles. See you!